Hello guys, in this video we'll be looking at autosomal DNA, predicted traits, predicted appearance and of course GD match results of Upper Paleolithic Man from Siberia. Now I actually don't know much about the sample, I wasn't interested in these kind of Upper Paleolithic genomes as much as more recent like Iron Age, Bronze Age genomes. Uh, so this was like a learning experience for me, but apparently this is the oldest modern human DNA that we have. And he was equally related to Oceanians, uh, like East Asians, Europeans, all that stuff. Here is his predicted phenotype with my tool Nashakot as well as YSEC. What's interesting, uh, you might be wondering why is his YSEC prediction so black? Why is it so dark? Well, this person did not have any of the alleles that correlate with light skin in modern people, so uh, he probably did have dark skin. Here is his prediction with Snipper Free. Uh, once again, very much high likelihood of brown eyes. Uh, impossible for him to have anything other than brown eyes, in fact. Uh, very high likelihood of black hair and uh, dark skin. He did not have derived EDAR, which is a gene implicated in mongoloid facial features. He probably did not have uh, mongoloid facial features such as uh, straighter hair and like shovel shaped incisters. He did not have the European lactose persistence mutation and was likely intolerant to milk and lactose. Based on his genotypes, he had a very low risk of Crohn's disease. He had an average risk for coronary heart disease. He had an average genetic risk for type 2 diabetes and schizophrenia. He had a low genetic risk for bipolar disorder and a very low risk for Parkinson's disease. Here is his result with Eurogenes K13 and what absolutely stunned me in this result is the presence of Sub-Saharan and Northeast African but I guess I shouldn't be so surprised because like when I did a genome of Neanderthal that person scored majority Sub-Saharan African and I'm sure that these Cro-Magnon people from Eurasia, uh, these ancient genomes from Eurasia were scoring for the most part Sub-Saharan African. Why? I don't know. I don't have an explanation but that's just how it is. Here is his result with MDOPK11, and by the way, guys, I must admit to a fault on my part. As you can see, the distance from this individual to Ust Ishim Upper Paleolithic is quite high, and I can explain why it's so high. It's actually because um, I kind of cheated a little bit. I could have downloaded the full sample, which was 90 gigabytes of file. I don't want to download 90 gigabytes. Uh, I might not even have that much space on my computer, right? So I just downloaded two smaller files, uh, which were only 400 megabytes, and I just kind of... Uh, merge them two together. So that's why this is not the full genome, this is not the full uh, genome of this individual, it's only a, por a portion of it and that's why there's a big difference between this and what is on GD match. Here is his result with MDLPK16, uh, which I like, I like this result. Here he is closest to Onge and Great Andamanese people, which are like indigenous people of, I guess, South India, between South India and Oceania. Uh, and he can be modeled as a mixture of Onge and Moroccan and Finnish, which doesn't make much sense to me. Why would there be Moroccan there? Uh, why would there be African ancestry in this person? But I guess there just is. Here is his results with Eurogenes K36. Uh, you can pause the video and go into great detail on every component here, but I'm not going to. I think it's just kind of nonsense. I don't really uh, see any patterns that I could talk about. Here is his result with the Gedrosia K3 calculator. Once again, uh, Maybe nothing too surprising, but of course the 18% Sub-Saharan African is just, it's just staring right into my face and uh, it's weird. Where is it coming from? With G25, this individual is closest to Jarava and Ongia people in, once again, this kind of Andamanese island, Andamanese islanders uh, between India and Oceania, which kind of parallels the result from an MZOPK16, which is why I like that calculator so much. And with G25, this individual actually scores a little bit of Sub-Saharan African too. So, um, that's interesting. Now, I really appreciate you guys sticking around until the end. And as a reward, um, in the end, I'm going to drop this little bit of information on you. You can actually download this sample in 23andMe format from link in the description. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.